In today's video, I'm going to go over with you really quick five tips to using this snowblower for the first time. Number one, one of the things I love about this Toro, it's got the electric start. All you do is plug the cord in to the plug there, and you're set to go there. Step number two, adjust your skids for the location that you're going to be snow blowing. I've got mine all the way down, so I've got about a two inch lift, and I'm doing a gravel driveway, and I don't want to pick up that gravel. If you wanted a cleaner, closer snow blowing for a, a sidewalk or a blacktop driveway, you would adjust the skids up and maybe even put plastic skids on if you were doing something you didn't want to damage, you know, the coating on the blacktop. Tip number three, understand the controls. The controls are very simple. There's explanation graphics here on the machine, but to go over it really quickly, the left hand handle is your drive handle. That's what makes you go forward or reverse. So as soon as you engage that, it will start pulling or pushing. The right hand handle is what engages the snow blower impellers. So your auger and impeller will go once you press that down. A note that once you have them both pressed down, you can let go of the right handle and you can adjust your quick stick here for the shoot. And you can grab back onto this if you need to, but it will remain in snow blower auger mode as long as this is pressed down. Now, as soon as you let up on the drive wheel, it will also release the auger handle. So I always, re I always recommend, you know, it doesn't matter really which one you start with, but this is going to keep going until you let go of the drive wheel. The next control you want to understand is the quick stick. Very easy to use. You push down on the blue button and then forward and back adjusts the height of the throw on the chute. Left and right adjusts the chute position left and right. So super easy to use. A lot better than other systems where you're cranking something. Tip number four. This is an important one. You can see here right on the cap, it says no E15, no E85. I recommend E0. No ethanol gas in this machine at all. I would use ethanol free. Uh, we found a local gas station around us that uses, that sells ethanol free gasoline. We use that in every machine that we run that has a carburetor. So snow blower, our Toro time cutter mower, all the chainsaws, the push mowers, anything that has a carburetor, we don't run any ethanol in. And then the last tip, number five, speed. So if you watch the videos of me snow blowing with this one before, you know that I go really slow in the beginning and that's on purpose. I wanted to make sure I understood the machine, understood how it operated, understood how the automatic steering works. So when you're going, it automatically goes which way you need it to go, just with a little direction from you. So those are my, those are my five tips. Hopefully they help you out. We'll go ahead and give this a start and uh, walk through the starting procedure. Really easy, good, good instructions here, but we'll put the throttle all the way to up. Make sure the key's in. Prime three times. Choke all the way over. We'll note that the gas is turned on. And then as soon as I hit this red button, it'll turn over. It turns really quickly since it's running on the electricity. And then it, once it's running, we'll remove the choke back over to the open position. So the first time I started with electricity and you saw how simple that was, I'll start it this time with the pool and you'll see that's equally simple. So again, right hand auger. Left hand drive. You can see how nice and slow I have it going right now at the slowest speed. And don't forget there's also reverse, so you don't have to pull it backwards. You just put it in reverse. So really easy to start, really easy to operate, great machine. If you like videos like this, please make sure that you are subscribed to Purple Color Life. Click that like button and comment below.
Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again the next time. What's he doing, Wyatt? What's he doing?